y'all welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you guys how i make my easy and simple sea moss gel and what i use it for if you guys want to know a little bit more keep watching now i picked up this irish she moss sea moss from amazon the link will be below and it lasts me about three months i added some lemons from the fridge and just started to cut them up now i actually didn't use all the lemon just for my sea moss i also used it for my lemon water so if you do want to infuse it with lemon you could just use however much lemon you want but this really helps take away from the really strong taste that sea moss produces Now, after you slice your lemons up and stuff, you want to place your sea moss into a nice big boat with some purified water. They say don't use sink water, so make sure it's purified and clean. And this helps remove all debris and salt and all that extra stuff from the sea moss. I soaked it overnight. You can do it from 6 to 48 hours. It's all on you. Now, as time goes by, you're going to watch it expand and stuff. That's really normal, you know. But once it's done, you're going to want to shake all the extra stuff off before removing it from the bowl because you don't want any of that to go with the sea moss once you blend it. And yeah, that's basically what it looks like. After that, you're going to want to add some water to your sea moss, fresh, clean water, not the one you soak it in, fresh, clean water. And you're going to start adding it, making sure that everything is all right. Now, after that, you're going to want to blend it. Now, as you start blending it, it's just all on you and what consistency you want it to be. When I first started, it was that thick, but I wanted it to be way smoother, so I had to add a lot more water into it. But as far as this point, it's just all on you and how thick or thin you want it. It really doesn't matter. And once I was done, this is how everything looks. Pretty smooth, you know, I tried my best. Really good consistency. Now that it's blended, this is what it looks like. We went from this to this. And this lasts up to three weeks on the fridge and up to a year in the freezer. So I think I'm gonna put it in the freezer so I can just preserve it all year inside. Can you even put glass in the freezer? I don't know. But yeah, I'm about to try it. And this, I'll probably use it as a face mask. The rest of it. Because it didn't all fit in the own jar. Let's get it. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. I just can't do the texture or something. It just doesn't fit right. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to just down it with water whenever I do take it. Take a spoonful and then I drink some. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I use it as a face mask. Let's get it. So this is what my face looks like before I put it up there. Mmm, this is a bit simple. I'm really dry looking, you know, very much. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe because of the um, climate change. But, um, yeah. So, first, I'm just. <laughs> I just almost messed up my um, ring light. I don't know why it makes me gag, like, comment down below if it makes y'all gag when y'all try to consume it and stuff, but I don't know. The water really helped though. So, um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna just splash it on my face. What? Yeah. Throw it on my face. The texture, that's the only thing I can't do. What it seems like. The texture. I can't. But let's get it. I'm just put it all in my face. And it really helps, like, literally, y'all gonna see the difference. I'm gonna do a before picture. And then I'm gonna do after. Let's get it! It feels really good on my face, though. You could really smell the lemon. That's the plus. The natural smell of sea moss, I'm not really a big fan of it. So we're going to see how well it does to my lips. I've done this many times before, but like when I um was doing it consistently, it really did help my skin clear and glow and stuff like that. Like, I just stopped because every time I ate it, I would have that same reaction. But the water really did help. I'm gonna just start doing that. I don't know why I just put it in my lips. Or that should be enough. It looks weird. I tried blending it up. But. And I'll give you guys an update whenever my face do clear. Cause this stuff that is magic. I think that's enough though. And I heard you can use it on your hair also. So I'm done. I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and then I'll be back with you guys. It feels really good on my skin. So this is what it looks like once everything is dried up and stuff. I got my skin feeling very much tight. I'm gonna just rinse it off with some water and add a moisturizer to it. And this is what my face looks like after Oh, yeah, yeah. It looks a lot more cleaner. Like, oh my gosh. My skin feels so fresh, like, afterwards. You guys should really try this. Like, I don't know how to explain it. We're gonna put a before and after to see how it looks. We're gonna check on that big pimple. It's still big. 
But yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. More videos will be coming soon. So look forward to that. And yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Insta. I got my head out the sunroof. I'm blasting.